sorry if you can hear me I'm whispering because everyone's asleep. Um, my name is Sam Bush. I'm 17 and I live in British Columbia, Canada. And we're gonna we're gonna hang out a little bit. I wanna talk. I'm gonna show you around my room. This is my new my humble abode washer. Books and showing kids my futon bed. But this is where I feel comfortable. Unfortunately, I feel comfortable in a space where I feel like I'm not taking up too much space. Because I've been hardwired to think that I'm burdened. It's very fun. Um, <laughs> So it makes sense for me to be in the smallest living quarters possible. It's nice to have my own space. Because I'm supposed to live in the downstairs, just like over there, where my grandparents live now. Um, but they have a lot of health issues, so they moved in. And fortunately, and by fortunately I mean unfortunately, my grandfather is a devout Catholic. Conservative. He's more conservative than my mom and my son or something. Um, quiet. Stars. I'm just walking through my yard. I'm very fortunate to have a very large yard. I've grown up here. It's been very good for me. Have some place where I could run around and be a kid. p.m. Monday, June 26th, 2017. <laughs> My uh, childhood fort is right there. Painted to the nines. You can hear the little critters behind me. All in the bushes. Their voice. The lights are off. My neighbor starts at the very back. Right back here in front of me. I can still hear my mom snore. I can still hear her snore, even though I'm all the way back here. I love her so much. Because she thinks that what you are physical is you. Like that's, that's you. Sometimes I come up with arguments to go against that, like, 
well, aren't you, don't you make poor choices because you're, like, overweight then? Aren't you a person who makes poor choices? Because I'm not sure. Because she's practically perfect. She's always made the right decisions. She's just always been like that. So it doesn't make sense for me to say, well, aren't you a poor decision maker then? Because I, I know nothing of the regrets that she has. I know only of the things that I could possibly do. No. I only know the things that she could possibly regret about me. And just a little bit. I don't know that much. Even perfect people have their regrets. And I, I feel... Oh, look at that. They're calling their cat or whatever. Or their dog. Maybe I should shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. I am starting to get worse and worse at seeing in the dark because I have the light on on my face right now. Can you see my tongue? I'm pretty sure if I put it somewhere in here. Where is the camera? Oh, yeah, there's my thumb. Hello! Mm, there's my face. I don't know. Yeah, we have a fun time. Okay, it's so beautiful. Man, even the birds are awake right now. I wonder how much sleep birds get. They just take little naps during the day. I have no idea. It's fucking beautiful though. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be beautiful when I'm older. I'm already happy. I really hope you are happy when you're older. Here, come on, Sam. You can do something with yourself. Alana, my um, boss for my internship at Sanish Rec. Oh yeah, I have that. Do you remember that? Yeah, that's fun. Um, um, she was telling me the other day, because I told her my situation, my relationship with my mom, about how she feels about the whole trans thing. Like, we get together along so fucking well, but that, that just doesn't work with us. Um, she told me yesterday, not yesterday, was it yesterday? It's Monday, so two days ago, that she's slowly figuring out that all a mom's job is, is to love and respect who their children are. And that she isn't saying anything about my mom, but that I need to make sure that I have people who are doing that for me. And I have so many people, but the only person that really, really, really matters feels like my mom, and I don't want to change my mindset just so I don't hurt as much. Because she is... She is the most important person in my life. She's the most important developed person in my life. Michelle's very important, but she's not even a year yet. She'll be a year in a week and a bit, which is nuts. I'm a big brother. <laughs> I'm a big brother, and I've been hoping for that for so long, and I could have died before now. I could have killed myself before now, and now I have this beautiful little sister, and she's all mine. She's all mine. I mean, like, my mom's too, but she's all mine. I love her so much. But all in all, I'm gonna get through it. I'm gonna get through it. And hell, if you're watching this a bunch of years from now and I'm still, like, crazy in love with Trin, then it makes fucking sense how much I'm in love with her now. Anyways, I'm gonna stop doing that and start heading inside.